my yarny friends, my name is Crystal. I suffer with chronic fatigue syndrome and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And for those of you that are interested um, about my new medicine, um, it's going well. It's helping me in many ways. Um, it's helping with my nausea. I'm really nauseous. I'm rarely nauseous <laughs> anymore, um, yay. Um, it's helping with my fatigue, not 100%, but a lot, comparatively speaking. Um, it's helping with my flu-like symptoms. That's gone, praise God. Um, it's helping, I wrote them down, <laughs> I'm like, ah. Oh, and duh. <laughs> Well, this one may not seem right, but my brain t is better. <laughs> um, it's more clear. Um, I can drive now. Typically, I couldn't drive. Um, I just couldn't process information. And now I just feel like more alert, more present, more there. Um, so overall, it's wonderful. Um, one of the side effects that's been hard um, but not worth stopping the medicine is I can get depression that I never got before. I would get sad um, because who wouldn't be sad <laughs> suffering as much as I did, but um, and still can. But um, yeah, I, I get depression. Like I could be having a great day, but then all of a sudden, boom, I just am depressed for no reason at all. Just a wave of depression. So that's only, that's been the hardest side effect. It's really the only side effect. Um, I still get terrible headaches, but that's just from the pots and from being upright too long. So anyway, I um, wanted to talk to you guys today about acquisitions, finished projects, and whips. Um, so I will do acquisitions first. Well, this won't be shocking. I got more yarn. <laughs> Um, so for my, um, making my stitch markers for my project bags that feel like they're, I'm never going to get the opportunity to sew, but I'll go into that later. Um, I realized I don't really have that many DK colors. So I, um, was, we were in Spokane yesterday and I drove, I drove there. My husband drove home, but I drove there. So excited. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby and I um, got some DK colors. I really like, and it was 30% off. And um, so I got some Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in, um, in sport weight. And um, so they were like a dollar sixty because they were 30% off. And it's not like a big skein, but it's a DK. And I'm excited. So this color is called Soft Blue. It is, it is 2.5 ounces, 230 yards, and a five millimeter crochet hook. So I got this one. And then I got pink. And then I got, so these are all the sports weight, the DK, the three. I got black. It must be, yep, black. I think I got almost all the colors except for neon. I didn't pick neons. I got ivory because I already had white. I got, it's called Graybeard. Yep, Graybeard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Who wants a gray beard? Anyway. Uh, um, I got bright blue. <laughs> I got green. Hmm. None of that's really true to color. And I got fibers floating around in the air. And the last one I got, and this one is a bright one. Ooh, it's sun yellow. I don't think it's neon. 
so those are what I got in the DK in the I Love This Cotton. And then I got Baby Bee Sweet Delight because I wanted, um, I didn't want such a dark green. And that was really the only colors out of that one. This one was more expensive. This was $5.29 with 30% off. Um, this is four ounces, 377 yards, 60% acrylic, 40% polymide. Oh, I don't know if this one has, this one's 100% acrylic. And this colorway is Baby Sage. And then I needed a yellow. And this colorway is, aw, Sun Kisses. That's a sweet name. <laughs> so that's all my DK. And then when um, I was ordering my cord, and I don't know where I ordered it from. Hmm. I'll, have to, I'll find out and then I'll put it somewhere here. So when I was ordering my cord, they had, um, if you spent $30, you got free shipping. So I got my cord for my bags, um, which some is back ordered. And then, um, so I got $30 worth of stuff to get free shipping. Well, then if you spend $50, you get $20 off. So if I spent another $20, I got $20 in free. So and I had, got ordered plenty of cord. So what does a girl do? I got yarn. <laughs> I didn't need yarn, but hey, man, free $20. I'm going to get yarn. <laughs> um, so I got two of this Premier Anti-Pilling Bamboo Chunky. Um, I had never used it before, so I wanted to get some that I had never used. So this is... 80% anti-pilling acrylic, 20% rayon from, from bamboo, 100 grams, 131 yards, and it is a five bulky and, oops, oh, and the colorway. Oh, now I need it that way. <laughs> the colorway is pomegranate, and I got two of these. Then, and my my cell phone right there and then I got it and I had to get purple because you know I love purple <laughs> and this colorway this cuteness is called drumroll plum shorebert or sherbert shorebert it's oh <laughs> anyway I got two of them and and yeah they, yeah that's not it <laughs> Because I hadn't reached $20 yet. <laughs> so then I got this one I got six of. I got, I had never tried this Ferris wheel before. Isn't that cute? It is Lion Brand Ferris wheel. And it is three ounces, 270 yards, 100% acrylic for medium weight and it takes a five millimeter hook so I got six of them in hopes that that's enough to make a sweater maybe <laughs> uh, I got lots of things to make sweaters I guess I'm just gonna be happy making sweaters <laughs> so that yep that's it that's my yarn hole <laughs> I didn't need more yarn, but you know, I need a DK because I didn't have any. And then, you know, hey man, if you got to spend another $20, what's a girl to do, right? She spends it in yarn. <laughs> oh, and then I have to show you this. When I was at Hobby Lobby, this just amused me and it was half off. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I love snowmen. I do. So I had to get him. He was like $2. I'm like, $2? He's so cute. So I got him, and also when I was at Hobby Lobby, I got um, 
more of these. They are so Yarnology stitch markers. Um, they, these ones would be for knitting, but I use them as zipper pulls for my zipper pouches that I'm adding to my project bags. And I needed some more. And I got patterns to make pajama bottoms. I'm going to I um, bought some fabric that is a Minecraft fabric, so I'm going to try to make my son some pajama bottoms because he is obsessed with Minecraft. And I might make a couple project bags with my Minecraft because, like, Jada and Stitches, she loves Minecraft. So maybe there's other people that would like a Minecraft project bag. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Would anybody want that? <laughs> So I got these and I had to get uh, one like as small to large and this is extra large to X, 3X I think or something so I can make my husband a pair and then I'll use the same pattern to make me some um, pajama bottoms as well because I'm going to show you what I, why, uh, what I want to make and I think that is it for my um acquisitions except oh except for so i'm having i had a zipper fiasco <laughs> um oh, so somebody had asked if with their candy corn project bag could they have a matching zipper pouch and i'm like well that's a great idea yeah and when I was at Hobby Lobby a while ago, they had their zippers on clearance for 50 cents. And when I was watching some sewing review, they said, hey, it doesn't matter the size of the zipper. You can always cut it. So, you know, I'm like, I'll just buy larger zippers because, right, I can just cut them. Well, that's not true. I mean, well, it is true, but if you cut your zipper, you have to then hand sew around the little thing like 20 times. So that's not happening with this chick. I'm not going to hand sew them unless there's some other trick I don't know about. So I was all happy. 50 cents. I'm like, yeah, score, zippers. But I got all big sizes. And I needed nine inches. So um, I'm like, I'm not cutting these all. <laughs> and hand sewing them to make like nine zipper pouches. So yeah, I got lots of zippers, right? So, but none of them work for what I wanted. So then when I was at Walmart, I grabbed zippers and um, I grabbed seven inches. Well, I don't like the seven inch ones for a zipper bag. I want, um, I want, nine inches. I just like, this is a nine inch bag. I just like it better to, you know, like if your hook is maybe longer, I mean, you got plenty of room, but some of my hooks are longer and bigger and I liked the longer ones. So, um, so seven inches wasn't going to work. And Walmart in Sandpoint is 45 minutes away. Or if I wanted to go to, Spokane, it's like an hour and 15 minutes one way. So I'm like, darn it. So I get on Amazon and I buy zippers in bulk. I'm like, yay, look at them in zipper, zipper heaven here. Well, it said they were nine inch zippers. They're not. They're nine inch from here to here, but the zipper is actually seven inches. So if you look at this zipper, it says nine inches. Well, from here to the end of the zipper is nine inches, but the whole length of this is actually 10 and a half inches. So quite deceiving. And I was bummed. These are good quality zippers. So, um, and there was a picture showing you the zipper length, right? Even though the title and everywhere it's talking about nine inch, there's this picture, if you would have looked at all the pictures, that said, the zipper length was seven inches. I'm like, seriously, people, <laughs> if this says nine inches and you're saying it's nine inches. So I have, I have all these zippers, right? It doesn't in there, <laughs> right? So I'm like, okay, okay. I had, I had semi good success with these zippers, right? I'm like, 
they're good quality zippers. They zip back and forth nicely. I'm happy with them. They just weren't the right length. And there is 120 in that bag. <laughs> so what is a girl to do? I order more zippers. <laughs> so I get these. There's 120 in here. They are the right size, but they're awful zippers. I'm like so bummed. They're not good quality zippers. They're such a bad, poor quality that I'm going to call to get my money back. And um, so I still can't make zipper pouches because I still, after all these zippers I have here, look at all my zippers. <laughs> I'm like, I still don't have zippers. So when we were in Spokane yesterday, I get four nine inch zippers so I can make some. But luckily, I got back on Amazon. I'm giving it another try. And I found ones that are the right size. They say that they're not like, they actually showed pictures of those flimsy ones. They're saying that they're way better. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, I got another 120 zippers coming my way. I, uh, I laugh about it now, but I'm like, seriously, I can't catch a break. <laughs> So, so, yeah, yeah, I got zippers, just, just tons of zippers. Um, so I think that's it. Those are all my acquisitions. Um, lots of, oh, 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 nope. I got one more acquisition. Um, I got my crochet world. Yay. I like crochet world. I got a different one. I think it's called crochet now. And I'm not a fan of it. And I know maybe some people aren't a fan of Crochet World. But I think like this shawl right here. Ooh, sorry. I'm not very good, huh? This shawl right here. I think that's pretty. Look at I want to make that someday. They teach you how to dye your own yarns. This little garland's cute. That's such a cute idea. Um, there's a few things in here I wanted to make. Uh, let me see here. And once again, yeah, I didn't tab. Let me see if I can go quickly. Yeah. Oh, I thought these little um, cup things are cute. And I would like to practice that stitch right there. What What is that? Like a basket weave stitch? Um, so, you know, that'd be perfect to practice on little cozies. They have mittens. Um, ooh, ooh, this one I, I really, really need to make for my son. Zuh. <laughs> my, two of my sons, Ryan and Ray Jr., are avid football watchers. Um, I think there's one more thing I really, really wanted to show you guys. Hmm. Well, Jiminy Crickets. Okay, I won't be flipping any. Okay. This one, the color's plain, but I think that's a pretty afghan. I like their afghans that they have in here. I think they're really pretty. There's one more, their Christmas one, which I won't have time to do. But then... Isn't that beautiful? So, I really like Crochet World. This one's a keeper for me. I'll keep I'll keep buying that one. But the Crochet Now, I think I won't. Once that subscription runs out, I'm not getting any more. Um, FOs. I did another cowl. Um, this is the Wide Neck bandana cowl by bag of day crochet and i will put a link in the description box below um i used i used this yarn right here <laughs> it's a hot mess right now um let me see where's my it is i love this yarn print and the colorway moody mosaic and i only have this one skein, I really, really want to make a matching um, hat, and I might just have to incorporate a teeny tiny bit into it and maybe work with the purple and the black, and I have to say, I'm bummed. 
This is probably my favorite print ever of all my yarn I've ever bought. This yarn right here tickles me a lot. It is kind of rough. It's not like super soft. It's not the roughest yarn I've ever felt, but the colorway, I thoroughly enjoyed working with it. And if I could find more, I would um, probably make me an afghan so I could look at it all the time. I love it. And I'm having a hard time asking anybody if they have any that I could buy from them. So if you happen to have any that you're willing to part with, um, I'd love to buy it. Um, I love it. I just, I love this yarn. And I also just used, I love this cotton, um, darn it, I always say cotton. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby in black and then the purple colorway. And it was a clearance one that worked well and it is called Amethyst. So that's what I used for the fringe and then I did a solid black for the um, neck part that I did. I, did, I made it smaller, I didn't do the wide neck part of it. And then um, another finished object I have was I did I this wasn't um, crocheting but it's related I made a flamingo project bag this guy's mine the inside this is the inside print. This one has fusible fleece in it and it has the cord I like with and it's a little bit longer so I could have you know my um, yarn in there and then my project on top and still have room and then I made um, a matching zipper pouch for my things. I used a stiff um, fusible fleece and I'm not thinking I'm going to use it. I made a different one with the fusible fleece that I used for this and I like it a lot better. Um, another, pro I made another project bag. This one doesn't have, this was folded, that's the only reason why there's that line right there. This one doesn't have the fusible fleece. That's the inside. I'm going to sell this guy for $20. Um, he's a little bit longer. I don't know the dimensions of him. Hmm. I'll have to put the dimensions up down below. And I'm going to be making a zipper pouch to match in this color. And the set will be $30 for this. Um, I also... So, I for this llama bag, I finally got my cord in. So this is done, but he already has a home, but I was just waiting to see if they wanted, oh, let me keep this here, a zipper pouch to go with it, but I used one of those zippers that I don't like. So, um, um, so I'm going to make a different one. I, I don't feel right selling this one. This one might be a giveaway in part of a giveaway someday, but um, yeah. So there I have this and this, and then I crocheted a stitch marker. <laughs> Let me see if I can hold them all up. So this is my set. So this is the extra large bag. So I have one set um, that I'm gonna sew that's already spoken for. I'm just waiting for my, <laughs> I decided to buy some labels. So on, um, I'll have a little label on the outside. I'm thinking about maybe right here that will have my logo and say, um, handmade with love by Crystal. 
Um, so I haven't been able to, I have some project bags ready to sew, but, um, my labels won't get here till Monday. Um, so I'm really, really excited. I got some other fun material and once those are done, I have some other fun material. I think that's it. Oh, I made another zipper, um, pouch to go with my candy corn set that I sold and I will put up a picture of the set here. And, and that was my first set I ever sold. I was very, very excited. Um, oh, I made one more, <laughs> one more, um, oh, sorry, project bag. Now, I was all excited about this print. I found a llama print that I loved, and I bought like three yards of this print. Well, I bought it online on Hobby Lobby, and I didn't know that it was a knit. So I don't have it by me, but knit is really stretchy. And so it's hard to work with. So I may not be selling these because it's a lot more work. You have to be really careful. I fused it to the fusible fleece, which help. But there's just more room for errors because it's so stretchy, but it's so adorable. So this is my bag that I made. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So this is my llama bag with super duper soft, like pajama bottom stretchy <laughs> stuff. And it, I did it, but you know, I had to cut it twice. It, this fabric curls up on you. So I had to make it a little bit longer, fuse it, and then I had to cut it again. And then I only had one slight little error right here. It's just such a stretchy material. Everywhere else was great. It's so soft and like you could like use it as a pillow if you were traveling. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is soft. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to make matching pajamas. <laughs> so my project bag, I'm gonna have matching pajama bottoms. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it tickles me so much. I will be making one bag like this um, with the fusible fleece, but it'll be a little bit more money because it's more time consuming, unless it doesn't work out. Um, I mean, a little error, what I did wasn't a big deal, but you know, it's way harder. It takes a lot longer to work with it. But I'm in love with it. Oh, and the inside. It's just so cute, but I won't be doing the really big bags out of it. The extra, it's just too hard to work with to do that. Um, so that's it for finished objects. Oh, about 27 minutes. Oh, okay. So my whips, <laughs> my whips are, oh, in this cute bag, I'm making cuteness. I am making a giraffe. I got the ears done. I got two of these. I think that goes here and here. Oh no, I'm so sorry. And here's his body. He's going to be so cute. I was missing Amigurumi, so I had to start a, um, a giraffe. And then... Darn it, I don't have my husband's project by me, but I'm just working on the trim. It's all sewn together. I'll have to show you next time because oh, I'm at 28 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so one last thing is um, my giveaway winners. One of them was from the UK. Isn't that exciting? Somebody from the UK watches and she won and one was from the US. So I have this, I have one more of these and I'm going to save it and I'm going to do a 750 subscriber giveaway. This one will be the US only. Um, my thousand, it, it will probably be worldwide, but the 750, when I reach it, I'm going to give this away. So I'll have another giveaway. Um, and I think that might be it. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry. I know, 29 minutes. Some of you guys are so sweet, and you guys, I don't mind. 25, I mean, 29 minutes is okay. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you guys all for watching and I just thank you for your comments and for subscribing and I really appreciate every one of you and um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, overall, I'm doing a lot better. Really, I am. I just get these waves of depression and um, so I'm like behind and watching um, people's vlogs and um, you know, it's just hard. It's hard. You guys understand. I'm sure everybody goes through periods of depression. So, um, yeah, but overall things are fantastic. Um, I still can't stand up for a long time, but I iron sitting down now. I was like standing up going, how am I going to iron all this stuff? And then, um, realized I could sit down and iron. I just have to put a towel on my lap because I burnt myself because it drips. <laughs> Iron strip. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I again, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching. And if you could like this, I'd appreciate it. If you could share, that would be fantastic. And if you subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.